Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 6 lines of code. So in this problem we want to implement a program that expects only, command, only one command line argument, the name of a Python file, and outputs the number of lines of code in that file, excluding comments and blank lines. So for example if we have a Python file like this one, when we count the number of lines, we shouldn't count this blank line or this uh, line uh, that has a comment. So we only count this line and this line and this line. So we should print in this example uh, three. So let's start with uh, importing sys to access the command line arguments. And since we are only expecting one command line argument, let's make a, an if statement. So if length of the command line arguments equals to uh, 2. Why 2? Because uh, uh, the name of the file is also stored in this uh, uh, list. So that's why we, we're checking if it's uh, equal to 2. And if that's the case, uh, we want to try to open this file. So try and let's use with so the file is automatically closed. And open the sys.argv and the second element, which is the name of the file that the user will type. And let's... make a variable called uh, in lines, number of lines, to uh, keep track of uh, uh, how many lines in a, in a file. So since we are going to check every line in a file, uh, let's make a for loop so for line in our file. So what we want to do here is to add an if statement uh, that checks for two conditions and uh, the first one is that the line doesn't start with a comment and the line isn't a blank line so let's start with a comment first so if line dot starts with a comment And our second condition, uh, if the line is a blank line, so if line is equal an empty string, which indicates uh, nothing. Okay, but I think we need to uh, strip our string because what if the, the comment is indented like that? So let's use L strip to remove any white space. Uh, uh, at first or at the left so we can do this uh, strip and let's use it also here because uh, also uh, spaces could be added here so we want to remove them also so let's use a strip here as well and if these conditions we actually want to reverse this logic uh, so in case uh, so when the line doesn't start with a comment or the line isn't a blank line we want to add one to our uh, variable here so let's uh, uh, reverse our logic here so if not and here we can just Type this and then add one to the lines. So if you don't know uh, what this method does, uh, it, it just simply uh, checks if uh, a string starts with whatever you type here. So we are we are checking if our uh, string here, which is line, uh, starts with uh, hashtag. So 
I think we are done in this block of code. Yeah, now for the exception. And uh, this one will be uh, if the file doesn't exist. So the, uh, the error is called the file uh, not found, I think. Yeah, not found error. And if that's the case, we want to exit with a message oh, file not found. Okay, but before we get out of this if statement, uh, we want to print uh, this variable, which is the number of lines, at the end. So after opening uh, the file and closing the file also, so our final step will be printing number of lines. So let's see if that's working. So Python and let's provide our uh, file here, which is test .py. and we actually we are expecting uh, only three lines of code. Okay, index out of range. Okay, let me see. I'm oh, sorry, this should be one. So our uh, index starts with zero. So the zero is actually the file name, which is uh, lines.py. And the second argument, which is one by index, is test.py. So that was a uh, user error. So let's try again. Let's clear this window. Okay, now it prints out a number of lines. So our logic here is uh, working and we should be done. But let's also uh, check if the user inputs too many command line arguments or too few. Okay, so let's start with the few command line arguments. So if the length is actually less than two, we want to exit with a message saying too few command line arguments okay let's copy this and uh, paste it again for uh, more than two command line arguments and we'll just write here the too many mm, okay i think uh, there's also condition missing uh, and uh, like if uh, if the user inputs uh, a wrong extension so what if the user uh, types test.csv for example so we actually uh, don't want to uh, print this message we want to print uh, that uh, this file isn't a python file so for this we will actually edit on this uh, if condition so we want to make sure that uh, the last two characters of our uh, argument here is uh, is p and y so let's uh, make this condition so sys org v and our second command line argument which is the name of the file that the user uh, inputs uh, so this uh, returns a string so let's uh, split this string from uh, or not split uh, slice sorry slice uh, from or sli take the last two characters and this is how you can do this so negative two so okay let's let me comment add a comment here test the pi so this is the zero index and it keeps going so one and two three and so on but uh, if we want to uh, get the last uh, character uh, it is negative one so this character is negative one and uh, this is negative two and this is negative three and so on so we want to take from negative two which is uh, this character to the to the end of uh, our string so this is why i left this uh, blank so you want to make sure if uh, the last two characters are equal pi 
Okay, and let's also add a condition here, uh, which checks if the con if uh, the extension is wrong. So let's copy this code, and this one will be not equal. We want to exit. Uh, not a Python file. Okay, I think now our uh, whole program is ready. But let's check first. Okay, not a Python file. Let's check for too many arguments. Okay, not a Python file. Okay, let's add. Okay, give me a second. Pi. This should output too uh, many command line arguments. Okay, not a Python file. Negative two. Oh, I add. Sorry, I typed <laughs> capital P. So that's my error again. Let's try again. Okay, now it's working too few. Too few. It should be too many. Okay, I also. <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> now this should work. Hopefully. Okay, too many, finally. And let's uh, not provide any command line arguments. So this should uh, output too few. And this is wrong for some reason. Okay, yeah, I think because you are trying to access uh, an element that doesn't exist. So when the user doesn't input um, or doesn't type any command line arguments, we only have one element uh, in this list of argv. And here you are trying to access the second element, which doesn't exist. That's why we are getting index out fringe. So let me think of a way to fix this. Okay, I think if we make this condition uh, separate from this one. Okay. And let's indent everything here. So after checking that uh, we have two command line arguments, uh, I want to check uh, if the extension is pi. And uh, I think we should add this uh, indented also. So if the extension is pi, this code will evaluate. And if it's not, uh, we will exit with not a Python file. Let's actually try again after clearing the screen. Okay, let's try our last example, which is just without any command line arguments. Okay, finally it works. So I think we covered every condition in this problem. So let's use the check 50 to see if we actually uh, pass every test. Great, uh, we passed every test. So yeah, I think we are done here. So that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And see you next time.